Hi everyone, welcome to my staycation. This time, we will be staying at the famous Sri Pacific Hotel, Kuala Lumpur. The Sri Pacific Hotel is a famous five-star iconic hotel in Kuala Lumpur and many high official people and VPs stay here for events, meetings and leisure too. It is also one of the oldest servicing hotels in Malaysia since its establishment in 1983. It is just beside the famous landmark of PWTC Putra World Trade Center or now called WTC World Trade Center Kuala Lumpur and it's just opposite the Sunway Putra Shopping Mall and its hotel. So, what's so famous about this building, PWTC? It's a large and prestigious exhibition center that holds a variety of events such as local, regional and international exhibition, weddings, travel expos, trade shows and concerts, even official international meetings. Its original hotel name was called the Pan Pacific Hotel, underwent a name change to become Sri Pacific Hotel in 2009. This is because of the transfer of management and operations to a new management company, the Residence Hotels and Resorts Group RHR. The place was also renovated in 2008. The location is strategically located approximately 10 minutes away from the Golden Triangle, which is known to be Kuala Lumpur's business district, where you will also find a number of prestigious shopping and entertainment complex. The hotel is in the area of Chowkit and just beside the PWTC building and opposite the Sun Putra Mall. If you want to go shopping, to eat or watch a movie, just use the connecting bridge from the hotel to Sun Putra. By car, just find the landmark of PWTC or Samiputra Mall itself. It's pretty easy to get there because it's an iconic and famous place. Just when you arrive at the traffic light, make a U-turn and you will arrive at the hotel. If by train, there are two options. First, take the LRT station using the Sri Patani line to PWTC station. Then take the footbridge to the hotel or even cross the street. The second option, which is a bit far, is taking the KTM train to Putra Station. Then it's a 5 minute walk to the hotel if you don't mind the distance of 350 meters. Parking is available at the hotel on the ground. You can claim for free parking at the reception as a guest. But please be noted, only one car per room. So, if you come more than two cars per room, it's not allowed. You have to pay for a car. Also, there are now EV charging stations available in the inner parking. The lobby area is two floors, with the reception area on the second floor. The place is huge, with stunning detailed interior horse furniture and even a grand piano on the second floor. There are also welcome drinks. The hotel has 30 floors of 560 rooms with 11 types of rooms, ranging from superior rooms to three types of suites. 
It may look seasoned for an old hotel, but it's well maintained and the service is top notch. It's usually a very busy hotel, always packed with people staying and visiting the area, especially if there is an event at PWTC. A lot of the facilities are available on this floor, including the restaurants, lounges, the gym, surao, spa, and many more. But we will cover all this in detail as we go along in this review. The lifts are unique, where it's transparent and you can see the hotel view as you go up. And also outside as well. We can actually see the buffet from here. So we are at the deluxe room. Okay, so way on your right there is a toilet it doesn't have a door but uh, we'll talk about it later let's go on to the main event As you can see this is a very very big room actually two beds and you see very clean So at a glance, you will see the bed, everything is clean, small couch, a table to do your work, a lamp and stuff, TV with satellite channels, and as we look around here, the corridor with a mirror and everything you need. Okay, we start with the wardrobe, okay, sliding. We see the amenities. I think it's missing the torchlight actually. Anyway, you got storage above here, you got your hangers and stuff, okay. Uh you've got a safe as usual. As we go down here, we've got a few more storage drawers and your slippers. And this is where I'm actually supposed to put my luggage in. Okay. I like this kind of storage because everything is closed and hidden. But nowadays, modern ones are all open cabinets or open drawers or whatever you want to call it. All right. So, storage place. Let's go on to the TV area. We've got a nice ledge here. Glass, some more. Okay, you got storages. It's quite a lot for a hotel. This size. Then we go on to the uh, desk here. See, it's comfortable. It's, it's quite comfortable. More storage, as usual. Your phone and your plugs. This is a very old hotel. It doesn't have any USB, but you still have your uh, plugs, the lights, and an internet cable. Because we used to have, uh, we don't have a Wi-Fi at those times, right? So we had an internet cable. But I'm a bit struggling to find the 
the Wi-Fi because it's not in the cards or anything. By the way, if you're looking for the internet password Wi-Fi or anything, it's actually you just connect to the gas and basically that's it. No password or nothing, connect to it and you're done. It's very fast. As you can actually see, where is the tea making facilities, even the ironing board? Because we didn't see that in the closet earlier. So where is it? What I like about this place is because everything is hidden. When everything is hidden, it makes the, makes the room more clean and minimalist. So here we are. This is where you have your ironing board and you iron and you can put more stuff here to make the room more clean and not messy. But where is the tea? Where is it? So, is it on the other side here? Behind the desk? This is here. And you've got your ceramic uh, cups, your water heater, and coffee and the uh, usual amenities making stuff here there are actually more covers but just need more to put uh, more amenities here angled in a way and you were looking for the fridge the fridge is here it may look outdated but then it's cold all right yeah So, very convenient, right? On the desk, you have your guest comments. You've got some social media uh, of the hotel. You have your room service, which is kind of nice in a very high quality uh, paper where you can select your room service or anything you want to eat if you don't want to go downstairs if you're lazy to walk around you have your uh, nice lamp reminds me of the lava lamp like 1980s lava lamp and I do feel it's such a comfortable and practical desk for you to do work in the hotel this mini uh i'll say mini lounge mini sofa right it's comfortable simple with a table that you can just uh, move around here and there The bed wise, uh, I have it tested, but I'm gonna test it later. And uh, oof, I'm sure to have a nice sleep after this. Still, uh, they give you towers and a greeting card, which uh, I'm thankful for. It's kind of awesome. And if you look around, They've got some bed lights over here, which brings you know, the mood, the ambience mood of the room. Each bed has two pillows. And oh my god, the pillows are so nice. Which you can see towards the TV. And with the TV having its own bed light also. It creates that kind of nice ambient mood. On to that, we only have one side table and it has a drawer and more storage below. It gives you two water bottles, but there's no USB stuff. It's just, you know, to control your lights.
If you're looking for a power socket that other hotels have, I can't seem to find one here at the back or something. Can't find it. But on the other side, there is. Yeah, there is one there. So it seems, it seems to be okay. I mean, you're going to sleep. You're not going to look on, look at your phone all the time. Where you can actually, yeah, you know, it's a hotel, so you got to rest. There is a balcony, but not accessible due to safety reasons. Okay, now to our last uh, part is the bathroom. Now you're wondering, where is the door? Well, it doesn't have a door. But, as you enter, do they, they do have a, a glass doors. For, so, for the first one. Okay, let's show this one here. This is the shower room. And, oh my God, it's quite, it's huge. I think my son will just break dance here and just play with the water. Does he need to go to the swimming pool? Oh my god, it is so huge! And it has a rain shower. So we can look over here. Okay. The amenities you have is... Uh, shower gel. Conditioner. And a body lotion. It's quite okay. And your red and white, like red and white, I mean, sorry, red and blue, cold and hot uh, shower. Shower rack. Oh, it's only shit. Sorry, it's more of a hanger. Sorry. And then. Let's see someone taking a bath and you want to take a dump. You can, but well, not only that, you go to the next one and you have a toilet bowl with a bathtub. And I can say because all hotels all have all these bathtubs because it was considered a standard at that time to have a bathtub. I'm telling you, it's, it's quite deep. Uh, it's not bad, man. And you have a... Let's see, uh, what do you call it? To put your... To hang your towels or whatever. Which you don't get to see nowadays. Right. Lock it down. And yeah, I believe there was supposed to be some sort of a, a shower curtain, but I think because we have a door already, so it'll be okay. Got this. I'm surprised that uh, they don't give more towels. Am I wrong? Oh, they have. And of course, Western wise, uh, you can have a lot of tissues here and you do have an emergency uh, communicator or phone just in case anything goes wrong while you're in the toilet. Okay, watch your step because it has a uh, levitated a bit. Okay, so what do we have here below? We have your marble sink. I like the 
meals all around because you usually only get one meal right this one's all around glass you know to goggle or anything you've got your uh voltage uh, to put in your shavers or even your uh hair dryer soap stuff so wondering where is the rest oh they're actually down here So we have a, so it's a bit dark. Yes, we have a shower cap. We've got your toothpaste and toothbrush, a pair actually. And you have your hair dryer, which is here. It's already plugged in, so you just press it. It's quite convenient. And something you don't see nowadays, is to give you a chair so you can sit down and uh, do your makeup oh, I, I, I kind of like this I like this so much you don't see this one nowadays huh? I don't know for me all the hotels that I've stayed so far this is quite the most uh, high high but how to say uh, equipped in a way they thought of everything. Of course, more expensive, more better. But we are in a five-star hotel. So those kind of things have to be accounted for. And that is it. I can bet you tonight I'm going to be sinking in that bath or playing a bubble bath. Should have bought bath salts. Yeah. Yes, you can lock the doors in the toilet. The housekeeping is excellent, fast, efficient and friendly. The next morning, we headed to the buffet at the Zende restaurant. The hotel has actually four restaurants offering a variety of local food and international. The Zande restaurant serves all-day dining with an extensive selection of Asian and international culinary delights. This is basically where the buffet is served. You can view the lifts up and down while eating. The Pacific Grill specializes in serving premium steaks 
and other meats. The Cheriza Lounge is a lounge to relax for a drink and socialize with the entertainment from our resident or visiting in-house band. The club lounge is a private lounge space with a spectacular view of the city and twin towers with a cozy atmosphere. If you need a quick snack or some bites for your busy schedule, you can go to the Grab and Go Cafe at level 1 from 11am to 6pm every Monday to Saturday to fill your day. There are a lot of meeting and conference rooms at level 4 overlooking the Zande Buffett restaurant. The gym is equipped with a wide array of gym equipment and machines to use to cater to your fitness needs. Fancy as swim? The pool located on the third floor is divided into two one for adults with a depth of 1.5 meters to 1.9 meters and one for kids with a depth of 0.5 meters. You can view the shopping mall from here. A beautiful salon is located on level 1. It's comfortable, clean and spacious for Muslims to pray. The Taratat Spa offers a variety of choices to pamper your senses and soothe your body and mind, including authentic Malaysian body massages. The Pacific Ballroom is a huge venue for events, conferences and etc. held here. Want to go watch a movie, go shopping or want to have more food varieties? Walk at the overhead bridge or cross the street to Samiputra Mall. We ate tempayaki at the mall before leaving. But remember, don't hesitate to call on me for anything. Like you said, a human being, I want to make you take that chance. Things have been different for me ever since I've met Hildy. I've never met anyone quite like her. If you want to venture more into the city and explore more of Kuala Lumpur, take the LRT near the mall. My thoughts? Staying at Sri Pacific Hotel offers the benefits of a prime location in Kuala Lumpur. Luxurious accommodations and a wide range of amenities including dining options, a fitness centre, a spa and event facilities. The room is large and serene. The hotel provides a comfortable and convenient base for both business and leisure travellers. With easy access to major attractions and public transportation, not to forget we have a mall and an LRT station near the hotel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.